Welcome back to Python scripting for GIS applications. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and it is spring semester 2013. This week, I'm going to teach you how to use ArcPy scripting for working with rasters. So here's an example. We've got uh, rasters representing costs across each pixel. So we've got a raster representing lakes. And basically what we want to do is we want to come up with the least cost path to get from this existing road to these three resources. And there's a cost to cross each pixel. And one of the costs is associated with lakes. So basically it would be too expensive to build a road across a lake. So there are barriers. And then another cost will be associated with streams. So basically, it's going to cost you $25 per meter to build a bridge across any stream. So these are the two cost rasters. And our script will add those up to give us total costs. And then once we have our total cost rasters, we'll figure out the least cost path to go from this existing road to get to these three resource polygons. So we run our script tool. And it requires what is the existing road line feature class and what is our resource polygon feature class and then what are our input cost rasters. So we have the cost of lakes we cannot cross, their barriers, and then we also have a cost associated with building bridges across streams. And then we'll come up and our Python script will calculate the least cost line from the existing road to get to those resources given these input cost rasters. So we run our script tool and it took 12 seconds to execute that Python script by doing some raster processing. And the Python script basically creates a new line feature class where these lines represent the least cost to get from an existing road to each resource given two cost rasters. So one cost raster was lakes are barriers. We cannot go across the lake pixel. And then the other cost raster was streams. It would cost you $25 per meter to build a bridge across any existing stream. Okay, here's another example of processing rasters. We have for the Yukon Flats area of Alaska, mean monthly temperature for each decade. So for example, for the month of August, the decade 1910 through 1919, what was the mean monthly temperature in each pixel, all the way up to August year 2000 to 2009, what was the mean monthly temperature. So what we want to do is come up with an ArcPy script that will give us the mean summer temperature. So the mean July, June, and August temperature divided by three for each decade, and then basically report that to a text file. So we can write our ArcPy script, and then run that ArcPy script. So basically this script for 1910 took that decade's June, July, and August mean temperature rasters, and divided those, summed those up and divided them by three, and it came up with for that decade the mean summer temperature of about 15.1 degrees centigrade. And then our last decade from 2000 to 2009, the mean summer temperature was about 16.1 degrees centigrade. Okay, here's another example of some raster processing. We have some LIDAR data. And LIDAR data is basically elevation data. So here is um, the last return elevation data, which is basically near the ground level. And here's the first return LIDAR data, which is near the top of the canopy for every pixel. So basically, if we take the first return minus the last return, that would give us the elevation of the canopy for each pixel. 
And from that, we could come up with what pixels are above some canopy threshold. So we have our script tool. So basically, this script tool has input the first return LiDAR elevation raster. So that's as a feature layer. So we could either browse to a folder or we could use the drop down and grab it from the table of contents. And then the same thing, input the last return LiDAR elevation raster. And then we've got what's the threshold value for tall trees in meters. So this is a long integer parameter and it's filtered with a range filter. So the minimum value a user could enter would be one and the maximum value a user could enter would be 34. And when we initially started this, it had a default value of 33. So I'll use the default value of 33 meters, which is a pretty tall pixel for Alaska. And then we'll browse to an output for our tall points feature class. So we'll put this in a folder called LiDAR and we'll call this tall trees. And then we just run our script tool And the Python script extracts points where the pixel was at least above that threshold of 33 meters. So these tall pixels are white spruce trees, basically located within this white spruce stand or within this white spruce stand. There are no tall pixels here in this black spruce woodland area. Okay, here's another example. We've got an elevation raster of Alaska. So this is the Alaska range and then um, interior Alaska. So the Tanana uplands, Nanana, Fairbanks, North Pole, um, deltas around here, and tokes around here. And what we want to do is come up with a script tool that will create channels from our elevation raster. So channels would be pixels of high flow accumulation. And then from those channels derive stream order. So first order channels all the way to fourth order channels. So we can do that using Python script and raster processing. So once again, we have a long integer parameter, which is what's the minimum flow accumulation that we're going to use as a threshold for a channel. So the default would be a thousand pixels flow into a pixel that we're going to consider a channel. And you could change this. You can make it as small as 100 pixels or as large as 5,000 pixels. And then we need the input elevation and it's filtered so it'll only display rasters, and then the output stream order feature class. So we could browse to a folder and basically put that new line feature class in a folder. So I'll call this stream order. So that will be a line feature class. And then we have a parameter that's a string parameter, and we have a choice. There's two methods for stream order. So we could use the Shreve method or the default method, which is a Strayler method. So that's also new this week is choices with string parameters. And then OK, and that will run our Python script. So the output from our Python script is a line feature class and basically we have symbolized the first order streams are symbolized as dash lines and then whenever two first order streams come together that creates a second order stream and then wherever two second order streams together that creates a third order stream and then wherever two third order streams could to come together, that's what's called a fourth order stream. Okay, so that's what we're going to be working on this week is processing rasters using ArcPy Spatial Analyst module.